I've been an angry little man. Missing shots, having a bad read on the game, and most importantly, I'm not countering the enemy strike, but I really want to climb those premier ranks. So I've booked my ideas up, buckled my shoes, and I'm queuing up for a juicy one. Our first game led us to Vertigo. I was a little nervous to play since, as I mentioned earlier, I've been in a bit of a slump in terms of my gameplay, but at least in the pistol round, things seemed to go well. I mean, this guy didn't even have a chance to shoot back at me. A second round conversion might make you think that I've warmed up before this game, but in reality, I literally got up a few hours ago and I haven't done really anything today. We can do this. I'm really not warmed up. What am I on about? Either way, I kept on performing well. Weirdly, even though our team were all 16k to 18k in rating, the enemy team had a fair few lower level players, which is why I think I did so well considering I hadn't played yet today. <laughs> I don't know what that guy turned around for. But finishing the half at 8 to 4, the pistol round started with a hefty timeout. Would you guys like to go A this round? Yeah. We blasted onto the A site and won the round with ease, and the rest of the game continued the exact same way. Nice guys, good game. We had a good team there to be fair. I mean the other team were a bit low level but, so I kind of got away with some stuff that I shouldn't have really gotten away with but, you know. The next map was on Mirage and it was nice to have a friendly sounding team. Hello guys. What's up, what's up, Viral Show. All it took was a pistol loss and one small mistake to prove me wrong. Why the fuck are you near me man? Why are you here bro? Why the fuck are you staying beside me? I'm not playing with purple on the same side, I'm gonna fucking kill him if I don't play with them. Jeez. This was an angry man. In fact, you might be struggling to hear me talk right now since he's probably screaming in the background. But I didn't let that get to me. It did help that the angry comments weren't directed at me, it was directed at purple. But he mustn't have let it get to him either, because we absolutely dominated this game. Leading us to Nuke. We had a slow start to this game, and I felt like I was playing really newbie. I was making simple mistakes, and my aim was... I don't even want to talk about that. Even my first big impact in the game was rather lucky. I mean, the first shot was just lucky, and the second shot I was jumping. <laughs> like, what was I doing? I did manage to pull my socks up in a couple of rounds, but it wasn't enough for a convincing half. At least the team were keeping the spirits high. Nice shot, man. But these high spirits weren't enough to prepare me for what was about to happen. Oh. oh my god, that was so bad. That was so bad. Oh no, why am I so bad at aiming? That was really bad, I could have had them both. Oh god. It was a write-off, boys. And you know, I may not seem it, but I was really tilted here. I've been feeling tilted quite a lot recently and I don't know why, but I've been trying to overcome it. I've not let the toxicity spread to my team, but it most certainly has knocked my confidence and has made me make more compulsive decisions during my games. But I felt like I couldn't take a break after such a heartbreaking loss. So I queued up again and got another Vertigo game. I should have taken the hint because I was getting more and more emotionally drained after each death I had. And there was a lot of them. Should I see a shot of them? I'm coming in, room. Okay. Oh, I did see a shadow. He's a right. He's coming towards B. Oh fuck me! I I need a break after this game because I'm starting to get a bit annoyed. To be honest with you, it's just pissing me off now. But I pulled myself together. Started really thinking about each move I make. My aim was, you know, it was getting there. But most importantly, I was winning his rounds. Until I wasn't. It was short-lived, boys. And I'm sorry if I got your hopes up there. But yeah, I took a little break for the rest of the day and focused on relaxing, regaining my grasp on my emotions, and getting to the bottom of why I was feeling this way. First of all, I started the next day by warming up. I didn't record this since my main focus was to lock in and play my best. I didn't want any distractions. I still to this day don't know how I survived here, but we take those, and the fact that we're doing our job perfectly. We were taking the game by storm, and even though I was still a little bit moody, it was for a reason, and that reason being I had something to prove. I want to be the best. I want to get that 25,000 elo. 
It's a test that's gonna push me, both in my mechanical skill and my mental resilience. I was trying my little heart out here. I celebrated my wins, but didn't let the losses get me down. It was a tough game. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. But when we got into overtime, I didn't shy away. I played enough rounds to know the enemy's tendencies, and all we had to do was not fumble the bag. And after we got match point, it was all but certain. I can't hold outside. Good job, thank you. Nice, good game guys. GG guys, have a nice day. You too. Game 6 started with momentum. I like to think it's from the last game, but in reality, the team I had were really nice and informative, which is always helpful. I had a funny round where I pushed all the way down second mid and flanked banana. Unfortunately, it was the start of some stupid mistakes which did really piss me off. I died. It's hard to overcome small mistakes that cost you a round, or just make you look stupid, but I'm not going to give up that easily, and there were some glimmers of hope. I'm going to 1D him all the way down. Let's play defensive on it. I'm doing this. Told ya. I was chuffed with that one, and we did win this game convincingly, but I didn't have much impact. It was a humbling experience, but we move on to the next game, which considering my recent video, I should do well on. Ancient. Let's fucking have it. A stellar cave hold. Oh God. And we're off. I was playing for my dignity, and I was constantly forcing my name into the kill feed. Every engagement I was laser focused on my crosshair. I was not gonna underperform. Me and Blue even had a miraculous 2v4. I'll let it play out now so you can live it in the moment with me. We could go heaven to A. Nice. nice. One might come here. Yeah. Let's go in. Nice. Uh, last might be CT or something. Hopefully he wasn't already on A. I'm gonna pop him here. CT. Very nice round. We were so nutty, and I continue to provide nut with this round right here. Not on it. But one thing you might not have realized is that the other team had someone abandon the game, and even though they had just four players, they were really wrecking us. And then to make things worse, one of our teammates left as well. No. We were down 15 to 12, so with our back against the wall, we started to make it happen, and we saved the game. Getting a tie. Nice guys, what a nice team. Except for that guy who left. Surely we still get plus elo for this, right? Well, never mind. It's a shame not to get the elo. But to be honest, I wasn't really that bothered. The grind for me is more about what I mentioned earlier. The resilience. The improvement. The art of playing the game. And I could sense that I was starting to pick myself back up. I was feeling chirpy, cheeky, and ready to fucking have it. The scene is set with Mirage. What a stage for magnificence. And it started off well. Will this be a life game? I can sense it in my veins. We're about to pick up the pistol. Oh. Oh god. But wait. A triple dink? Could this be the- <sighs> Never mind. But don't count him out again. He's gonna- He's got the Galil. Is he gonna- Jesus. But wait, a glass cannon. Four times the charm, as the saying goes. It's surely meant to be. And I think it is, boys, because I was so locked in that I forgot to buy armor for nearly the entire half. Everything was working. All the shots were connecting, even the ones that shouldn't have. And it went a really long way for me. I need this kind of game. I thrive off success, and what I want is to be the best. And what you're seeing on your screens now is just complete destruction. We mopped up the rest of the game, all my reads were on point, I felt comfortable in my aim, and it felt good to feel good. You know, I've had a few turbulent things in real life, a loss in the family, forcibly switching jobs, and what might seem like normal progression is something that really scares me. 
and I feel like my lack of confidence in the game is somewhat attributed to my fear of this progression, or the other way around. Either way, I was comfortable with what I had, but now, as I'm standing tall and tackling life's adversities, I'm re-establishing my mentality and evolving my gameplay, and becoming a new gamer. You can see how happy I am with myself. Look at me little face. I can't even either, can I? And I want to continue this form so badly, so I'm going to be aim training every day for the next month to see how much I can really improve. I'm motivated, ready, and excited. We've reached a new milestone of 18,000 ELO, and if you want to join me for the adventure, then feel free to subscribe. And yeah, I love you guys. I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.